Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another eSports live stream. Today for the Winter Major Rankings 3, for the final round of the Swiss stage, we have the team uh, Tripside going against Nonstop. My name is Dragonite, I'll be a commentator for tonight's festivities. And alongside me is a lovely broadcaster and uh, partial, you know, partially commentator Renke. So Renke, why don't you go and introduce the teams for us before we get into the chaos that is happening. Yep, yep, yep. We have non-stop on the blue side, playing with Krishna, Star XP, Dead, Stalker Sky, and Loading. And on the red side, we have Trip side. We have Light that's currently trying to pull the flag. Evermoth, Princess D, Sunfire, and Opex. That's uh, pretty much it. These, yeah, currently these teams are going head-on-head -head right now. I'm surprised to see Princess D over here. Princess D is one of the uh, you know, seasons, the esports player, you know, it's just hard to see the Princess D to be in this uh, bottom fragging of the table, of the rankings table at least. Yeah, maybe a bit of a less perfect tournament for Tripside. Tripside is indeed uh, a bit lower than I expected them to be. But maybe this is not the tournament they hoped for. But they still have a lot of TMR points. They played some tournaments this ranking. So we will definitely see them in the Winter Major. Well, one can hope right now. Seems the attacking uh, strategy for both is uh, kind of a mediocre right now. Not much attacking has been taking place. Just a uh, quick uh, pass and check in either of the side. Sunfire and Opex is actually pushing against Krishna over here. This could be an opportunity for trip side. Oh, good shot by Krishna. Don't think Opex is going to pull that flag. On the other hand, we can see Stalker Sky going against Light. You seen that uh, wonderful ricochet uh, trick shots against uh, Efremo. Yeah, a lot of players from non-stop now in the base of strip side. Well, currently Princess D is also pulling the flag of uh, non-stop away. Will we going to see a standoff here? Krishna has the opportunity to return. Star XP still pulling the flag. Krishna with a dodge of that Crusader OD of Sunfire. Um, does it look like a capture for non-stop? Maybe a bit too early oh, to go. Yeah, it seems that da he has that dad power to capture that flag. Yeah, it gives you 10% extra health. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, why? Uh, so if if he's named Dad, is that a mom also in the field? Maybe, maybe not an esports. Uh -huh. Okay, currently the non-stop is failing the pressure of the trip side right now. Light Princess D going against the flag. The Light has taken the flag. He has his hunter over there. Here comes Opex and Efremo with the Viking support. Light is going to. Uh, shine brightly once he captures that flag. He's going to take that uh, spare repair kit under the uh, bridge over there, and that's going to be a draw with only with only under seven minutes on the clock. That's the first round itself. So uh, wait, Ricky, are we going to have additional rounds or just uh, four rounds only? Oh, that's a good one. I think these m these players are a bit close to each other, um, but I feel like Tripside is like the more more favorable team in in terms of names and in terms of team name as well. So that's why I think Tripside will win it in four rounds. That's my prediction. But non-stop isn't playing too bad either. And you know, I'm looking at the past results. They got uh, silver in the first rankings of this winter. So they absolutely yeah, have uh, 
have a decent result in the past. It's a, it's a close match. It really is. Oh, good overdrive by Star XP. Got triple people over there. Fremol Light and one more guy. I think that was Sunfire he got. That was a full utilization of the Hunter Overdrive by the Star XP. We see Stalker Sky currently pulling a flag, but not being able to get it out of the base. Krishna and Star XP going to follow him up here in another phase of this attack. Ooh, overdrive by loading. You know, you can see that Aries o overdrive passing through that uh, one side of the Iran, Iran map like a loading bar, you know. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Sunfire, I guess Dad and Stalker Sky, who is using his overdrive. Ooh, that's a good shot. You know, why did he choose his name Sunfire if he's using Crusader? Crusader is like an icicle generator OD, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not an expert in player names. It's still a draw in. We only have a bit more than four minutes to go. So it looks like a close match. OD box is dropping though, and it looks like Evermov has an opportunity here to take that overdrive box. He is full health, he is with repair, he is in the perfect position, but Krishna using ah, oh a bit of miscommunication. It, uh, that just, uh, you know, blocked the Krishna shots, man. That uh, that uh, order became ineffective. Did yeah. I, but, uh, uh, yeah, it, uh, I think the enemy got the overdrive box, right? Yeah, 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 indeed. Ope has got the OD uh, there, um, but this will definitely lead to some discussion in, in between rounds, you know. This is a big miscommunication, to be honest. Um, it's just a flaw that is, is avoidable, and it will cost you, uh, in this moment, an OD box. But that can have, have big consequences. See Stalker Sky using a Paladin OD here pretty early in uh, the base. Let's see what the idea about that will be. I think he was mad, trying to do a sneaky pull, but uh, it, it didn't work for him. So I know he's getting pushed by Ephraim and Princess D over there. Yeah. Here comes Dad. Oh, Krishna. Business actually pull, uh, pulling the flag, but unfortunately, Light will be returning it. You know, we can see a couple of broken plays that, that is happening in the field right now. Not much communication is go going on. No, you know, that's why neither of the team can get the flag from each other's base. I think the way they pull up the first flag was by pure luck, I guess. Ooh, maybe, maybe. That's a good point. Um, Here we have Opex trying it, though, with the OD Light. Getting supported with pulling that flag. Sunfire can use a cruise OD here on loading. Um, but choosing to save. Light again. Uh, going to the middle route. But he is checking that radar. You know how important that radar is. He is checking Star XP here. And this is going to be the second capture for Tripside. That's how they are getting in the lead here. With only two minutes to go. Can non-stop fight back. And get back to a draw once again. I, I doubt it to be honest. Currently, we can only see is that Star XP is having the Hunter Overdrive, but I don't think he's going to use it against uh, this type of scenario. He might uh, respawn and uh, have some teammates to support him, then they can do a successful pull from the uh, Tripside's base. Wow, what a double kill by uh, Krishna with that railgun. That's a great shot. Did you see that, Renke? No, I missed it. Yeah, that... From one base to the other, the Krishna has a good accuracy. And here comes, he's pulling the flag. He is uh, getting beaten up by Ephraimo and Sunfire. That's re really unlucky. Yeah, the flag was uh, easily returnable here by Tripside. And time is taking for non-stop. Now it's the most important to even bit time pressure, stay coordinated here. We have loading with an OD. We have Chris now with an OD. There are loads of opportunities for non-stop to create something. 
if I remember correctly, there's also a box dropping here in the... Yeah, there it is. Loading, choosing to have to do a use and take. But he really needs to make that work. Ah, okay, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. You know, the overdrive box was falling at the same rate as my loading bar. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Nah, that isn't great from non-stop there. That play on the OD box, a bit messy, a bit risky as well, doing a use and take there so early. Uh, I understand where he was coming from, but there was a long time to uh, to wait before that OD box would hit the ground. And now you have uh, the Viking player of Tripside, um, Evermov, of course. This can use OD for defense, I think he just used it. And that's why Tripside is just securing the win here right now. Well, it seems that it's clear that the trip side has uh, secured the first round of the uh, Swiss uh, of this match at least. So that's just one step uh, in mul multiple stepping stones they have to cross to make that a victory at least. So whoever is going to win this uh, match is going to be uh, you know is going to get good RR points in the ranking table, and whoever does not, they'll have to play another match in the Swiss stage. I think uh, the losing team will be against uh, well. A couple of uh, potential uh, teams over here. We got Potatoes, Anti MM players, Nonstop, Drama, Visible, Benditos, Hot Eyes, uh, Amore, STB, White Towers, Butcher, and Help. Yep, 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 yep. That seven round will see some some big names all the way, uh, having to fight it all the way to the end here. Um, although, if I remember correctly, um, a lot of these teams can actually already. Get into the seventh round or finish the tournament here today. You're talking about uh, our potatoes, they can finish it up here today. Um, anti MM player still has to play, so probably the names that have the most chance here to uh, clear the tournament tonight um, will do that. But still, there are some, 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 uh, some big names in the seventh round. I agree. Yeah, talking about two teams that, that are already confirmed to play the seventh round here. Uh, we're talking about Butchers, White Towers, Amor, Hot Eyes. That are just, you know, the bigger... Uh, the bigger is not a good word, but they are very midfield teams in the esports scene. And most of the times, I, I feel like these names should be able to qualify before seventh round. But uh, it's... Uh, oh, uh, the skill level is high this season. That's for sure. Mm, yep. How oh, you know the skill level has been reduced because the number of band players are more than the number of pro players that is in the tournament? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Nope. Players come and go. Players do stupid stuff sometimes. And then they are forced to go for a bit. Um, that's just how it works. But I mm. feel oh. like uh, the eSport level is at a pretty high level at the moment. Especially the midfield oh. is really close. Mm, Alright, now it's the race for the overdrive box. Let's see who's going to get a light. Light is close. He's going to give it to Ephraimo. And Ephraimo is going to be uh, having the advantage for his uh, trip side team right now. Yeah, that's how trip side should have started here. And that's exactly what they've done. Getting back-to-back -back rounds in, that's for sure their ID of this fourth round, or second round, sorry. Fourth round is still a bit far away. Seems that Star XP has changed his turret from Firebird to Freeze, actually. You can see right now Star XP is using the uh, Freeze. Uh, what's that skin? I forgot what's the skin called. It's some... Um, uh oh, SE. Okay. SE, yes, yes, yes. That's the skin. It's actually, uh, you know, like a uh, phase one of the freeze X XT skin. No, HT skin, I mean. But it's actually kind of working really nicely for them. For the designers, at least. I find it ugly. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't know how to put it differently. <laughs> well, 
Here comes Light. Light is going to be pulling the flag. He's going to get bombarded by loading and talker Skype, and the flag will be returned by Krishna. Good effort, though. You know what? Right, I can't leave you. Yeah, yeah go, go ahead. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know what would be funny, uh, Dragonite? If uh, yeah. non-stop managing here to win this round, so if overall score is one against one, where we'll see an OD box being dropped and probably a use and take here from Evermoth. Um, so that means that we have a one-on-one -on -one score going into Highland. We will be here all night, if that's the case. So let's hope um, for us that non-stop is not winning this round, and let's hope for the viewers that they are winning this round, because then they have viewing pleasure all night here. Seven, eight, nine Can rounds. We, uh, yeah. I, I, I do need to see that one more round in Highland. Can we like bribe the referees or something? I can mm. give uh, free tank coins to them, you know. Mm, let's... Uh, <laughs> Deals like this you have to make off stream, you know? No, joking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. That's, that's not the case, luckily. Mm -hmm. Still seven minutes on the clock here. We have loading with an OD ready. We have Chris now with an OD ready. Non-stop is looking stacked here to create an attacking opportunity. Well, let's hope that they don't stop on the right on the tracks over here. Seems the Star XP has got this sneaky pass. He's a, he, No, he's not actually going for the flag. He's actually going for Opex. That was a bad move, actually. He's having a freeze turret and Opex is having a thunder turret. You know who's going to dominate in that small battle over there. Oh, Prince is using his uh, Paladin Overdrive. Could give a good support to Ephraim over here. And it seems that Dad is actually trying to push Princess D out into the self-destruction zone. But unfortunately, it did not work as planned. A good overdrive by Opex. Light is light. Come. Don't. You're going the wrong way, man. Okay, fine. I think that way works for you. But you'll have to run a lot. Or oh, good overdrive by loading, I guess. Sunfire. But does not take out light. And light is going to get that easy capture. That's going to be 1-0 for the trip side team. Yeah, that's exactly what Tripside had in mind here. Nice OD, by the way, from Sunfire. Doing a nice use and take there with the Cruise OD. You know what I think the problem for non-stop is exactly I think they're for trying to be focused more on kills rather than, you know, to get into the base and grab the flag. You know, that has the overdrive, Stalker Sky has the overdrive, Star XP has the overdrive. They're not actually fully utilizing their full potential over here. They're just actually focusing on uh, defensive kills. They have to up the game if they have to win this match at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're definitely right on that. Ephraim on top. Sunfire going against loading on one side. Light coming in the mid. Good overdrive. And it seems that this could be an opportunity for Stalker Sky and Dad. Sunfire is going to use a Crusade overdrive. And he shoots. And he shot at the ground for some reason. That was a really bad one. And here comes Dad. He's going to show that, show that Dad power against the Tripside team. They're going to pull the flag right now. Stalker Sky has a flag. He's not going to take the direct uh, route to Opex. So he's going to take the mid where he can get support by Star XP and Krishna. Princess D is going to come try to stop. But uh, that's not. it's going to be too late. And there's going to be a draw with only less than f five minutes left on the clock. That is a good uh, flag capture by St Stalker Sky and uh, good support by Dad as well. Yeah, and this is how non-stop is uh, managing to stay in the game here. Back to a tie, four minutes on the clock. Let's see what they are capable of here. Ephraimo and Princess D on one side. Here comes Ephraimo. Ephraimo is going to be picking up that flag. 
Wait, where, where, where are the defense of the uh, uh, non-stop? I'm not seeing anyone spawned over there. Yeah, definitely a lack of defense there from uh, non-stop. Ephraimov with a good capture in. They are back in the lead right now. OD box also dropping. Looks like that has an opportunity to catch that one. That can be a very important one for non-stop. Although it's still on the ground, still not taken, loading. We'll catch that OD right now. He could use that overdrive by uh, for Stalker Sky, but uh, but he died unfortunately. Well, hopefully the next uh, respawn he has to do it right now. Less than three minutes left on the clock. The score is actually balancing in the favor of Trip Side. Star XP. That's a good effort. Dad. Overdrive by loading. Did heal Krishna a bit though. But it's now or never for Star XP to pull up that flag. Overdrive by Opex as well. That's going to be a counter over to Star XP. Oh, Star XP got affected by so did the loading as well. But Krishna is still having the flag. He's actually running it. Running for it, but unfortunately, he did not outrun Opex, Ephraim, and Light. On the other hand, we got Princess D going against Loading and Star XP. He has a pallet overdrive. He's going to get uh, crucial support from Light and Ephraim. Ephraim is going to pick up the flag. And this, this uh, is looking like a third capture by the Tripside team. Yeah, Chris now on a good position here, though, to return it. But getting knocked out on time. Black is all the way in the base of trip side, but still not captured yet. Chris now with a nice potential to return. Okay, Sunfire making sure that it will be a capture with a great OD. Three against one is the current score, and trip side has, yeah, has won this round pretty much. A minute remaining, I don't think the people from the uh, non-stop is going to capture this flag. I think it's safe to say that they, the people from the trip side have backed this round as well. So it's all up to the third round that's going to be taking place in the Highland map. If non-stop ha non has to win that round, otherwise it's going to be game over for them. But at least for this uh, round of the stage. So what are your thoughts on that, Renke? Do you think uh, non-stop can uh, manage to do a comeback in the uh, Highland map? Yeah, I doubt it. Highland is totally... Not suited, n not suited for uh, for comebacks. Um. I mean, it uh, it actually depends on your, what base you're getting. You know, some bases are good, some bases yeah. are bad. Uh, the only thing that map is good for is getting a draw, and that's exactly what Tripside still needs to win the uh, the match. So I feel like we will just get a zero zero draw, and that will be the match. That's my uh, okay. expectations. Alright, while well, these people cook up the uh, battle link for the next map. In the meantime, guys, the battleship uh, event is back online. You guys can uh, log in and place your uh, tanks in whichever position you want. And you know, you can battle to other players. And uh, stuff like that. So, Reke, have you logged into that site? Sorry, I missed what you said. Sorry. The battleship. Yeah, the battleship yeah, 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 yeah. I am trying to get to 10 points and... Get a nice augment in. Okay, we are going to prepare ourselves here for the third round.
And while we are waiting for the third round to start, let's quickly take a look at the predictions. Forty-four percent of you guys voted for trip side, and fifty-six percent voted for non-stop to win. The current score is two against zero for uh, trip side, so trip side has the better position, but it's not over yet. Although this is a difficult map to uh, um, to get back, you know, it's uh, it's Highland. Highland is the map of draws. Of There we go, the start of the fourth round, or the third round, I'm sorry. Oh, D-Box is dropping currently. Let's see who has the opportunity here to get a great start for this match. It looks like that can take that OD box in favor of non-stop. That's the start non-stop is needing right now to get back to this game. Match is starting pretty calmly, I have to say that. Both teams not taking a lot of risks. We have Dad with an OD currently, he had it from the start. And the second OD box is dropping right now. And Stalker Sky just lagged out of team non-stop. Let's see if he can join back very quickly. Everyone has taken that second OD here, also the Viking player. Tripside has a good opportunity here to create an attack. 
with a bit of server lag coming in. Sunfire here with an OD getting into the base. Maybe he can create something here, but he's totally on his own. Chris now with a good spawn to deal a lot of damage to him. And this attack is not getting anywhere. OD box once again dropping, we see that that have an opportunity here to do a use and take. Uh, but Evermov stepping in earlier here, using and taking Princess D getting into the base. This is a real opportunity here, especially with OD from OPEX, totally from the other side of this map. This will be an opportunity to capture a flag, but Krishna with a lovely OD securing this return here. Um, securing the team, making able to return that flag. And it's still 0-0. All right, I guess it seems that from the defensive side of the base, uh, I think the uh, non-stop has the better advantage of here. See, you can, there's a lot of openings here. That there's only like uh, two ways of exiting. That's through the main gate and one on the slope that which Princess D is going to take right now. It's actually pre pretty, uh, you know, strong over there. He's handling himself very much. Oh, here comes loading. Ooh, he tried to anticipate Princess D, but Princess D is lost uh, his overdrive over there. And Sanfa is going to use his Crusader overdrive against Stalker Sky. Opex is going to pick up the flag. Everyone's going against the enemy flag right now. It's a, it's a big chaos over there. The flag has been turned, not yet returned. Dad, can Dad return the flag? It's, it's being blocked by the dead tank over there, and the flag will be returned by Dad. Yeah, so it's still 0-0 zero, zero currently. But zero zero means that's a, that's like good news for trap side. They just have to draw this round. Dad trying to get some uh, opening over here. Takes up the flag. Somehow surviving over there. He's actually pulling the flag right now, but uh, not much uh, further. He has uh, gone. So the flag will be returned by Princess D. Princess Day trying to do a sneaky approach over here, going from the sides. It's going to climb up the ramp. Princess D has an opportunity here to get the flag. Stalker Sky and uh, Star XP has spawned in just in the right time. Five more minutes remaining to close the score, still 0 0. Sunfire. Sunfire is going to pick up the flag. He's going to use a ramp. Stalker Sky gets a lucky spawn, and the flag will be dropped and returned. A stalker sky. Yeah, good spawn there by him. But now we have again Princess D and Evermov in the base of non-stop. Non-stop as it's more and more difficult to defend their own base. Uh, again, we see that with a lucky spawn, that even with an OD ready. Sunfire using an OD. And this will be the first capture. He's not captured yet though. Light taking over this flag without double armor. He's so like one shot. Um... First capture for Tripside. Well, it seems that the, the, the only people that can stop non stop are the people from Tripside, you know. Yep, yep, yep. They are doing a good job in that currently. Go to overdrive by light actually. He disabled dad and star XP over there with that single hunter overdrive. 
Krishna is on, going for attacking over here against Princess D. Stalker Sky getting killed by Sunfire. Opex is actually doing very well with this vantage point of the he has the good cover of the he can use a sniper shot in between those cracks of the wall over there. It's actually a good position he can have and he has good uh, view of the field of the playing field as well. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you there. Look at the KD by the way from Opex and from Light as well. 4.6 and 5.25. They are wiping non-stop out of the match right now. No, Opex's kill is justifiable, but how is Light getting that much kills, man? I, I think he's uh, using the Railgun Hunter, no? He's staying in cover and trying to do some kills from long range from that angle. It's like a two tower of defense they have on their base itself. Oh, the e box dropping currently. Sunfire will be able to pick that one up. Ephraim over here using a nice OD. Will he create another opportunity to capture the flag? Knocking out one already. He will knock out the second here. At least I think. There we go. Nice assist by the OD of Opex. And a bit of a wasted OD here by loading. Tripside is just using every OD they have. To try to create one more capture. I think it's going to be all over for a uh, non-stop over here. Princess D is going to get that uh, good capture. And that's going to be the cementing victory for the uh, trip side. Yep, yep, yep. And definitely over now. Seems that Sunfire is going for the third capture, but he uh, unfortunately flipped himself over there. Here comes Ephraim Yeah, Ephraim of currently pulling this flag, using his repair kit here, he's very low on health. Light can use his OD here, uh, if needed, he doesn't have supplies activated. And now he has double power. But with the time pressure they are on right now, it's not going that quick. Still there will be time enough here for the third capture and the last capture of this match. Well, the spirits are broken for the non-stop players, are very unfortunately for them. Yeah, true, true, true. They uh, did not really can uh, could find their rhythm here in this uh, in this round. Normally, it's not easy to capture flags here, but it didn't look like Tripside had a lot of uh, difficulty creating uh, capturing opportunities, and and non-stop had it very difficult on this map. Well, with that, we can conclude the uh, stream. So, uh, congrats for Tripside for winning this round and securing the, a good place in the rankings table. Not to worry for non-stop, they still have one more chance to redeem themselves in the next round of the Swiss stage. So, Rekke, do you have any closing statements before I uh, close up the predictions as well? Uh, yep, yep. Tune in to EN2, the second eSport channel, in a few minutes' time. I think around 10 minutes. There we will be seeing Potatoes versus Drama. You don't want to miss that one. And I hope to see you next time. All right, guys. And that match will be broadcasted by Super John and uh, Rekia. Are you coming to take that match? Uh, I think so. All right, then. Good luck to you guys. And uh, stay, uh, and uh, also, viewers, do not forget to tune into the second channel in about 50 minutes. So take care, guys. Good night and goodbye. Bye-bye.